Hey guys, I'm Smarty, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to make low poly trees like this. You probably clicked on this video because you want to know how to make really nice looking low poly trees, and this is going to be the fourth video in my low poly environment series, so make sure to subscribe and check the link in the description for the rest of the series. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel and comment below, I subscribe. I will do my best to reply to your comment. So anyways, let's get right into Blender. So there are two ways to make the trunk that I'm gonna show you. The first one uses the skin modifier. So we're just gonna hit tab to go into edit mode and then hit M on your keyboard and hit at center. That just merges it into one vertice. And now basically all we're gonna do is extrude this by hitting E and then clicking where we want it to be. And this kind of makes the start of your tree. You'll see this will turn into an actual trunk once we add a modifier to it. So bear with me as we add this. You can add a few extra branches here. Add a lot of variation. It doesn't have to be just like mine, but you know, want a nice looking shape for your tree. And for me, that's pretty good. You can do yours any size you want, any amount of branches you want. But for the sake of the video, that's all it's going to be. So all I'm going to do is go down to modifiers down here by hitting the wrench, add modifier and skin. So you're going to notice that this probably doesn't look how you want it everything's the same size and this is a pretty easy fix do not apply this modifier we're going to go into edit mode by pressing tab and then you just select one of those vertices and we can go into wireframe mode so we can see through it and you hit Control a to scale that on this type of modifier so you can scale down the ends of your branches make the bottom of the tree a little bit bigger and you might notice that some things in your tree aren't exactly how you want, so feel free to go ahead and change the shape a little bit as well. Now, with this method of making a trunk, things are going to look really boxy and square, so make sure to stick around for the next method so I can show you how to make higher poly tree trunks. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you that right now, and then I will show you how to add leaves to the tree, really nice looking leaves. Okay, so now all we're going to do is we're going to hit Shift A, and then all you guys are going to do is hit Cylinder and go down to the bottom left here. If you click anywhere else or do anything else, this menu will not show up. And we're gonna reduce the vertices down to, I usually go around six to eight, but uh, it's really up to you how high poly you want yours to be. I'm gonna do six. All right, so this method might be a little bit more straightforward for you. It's a little bit, definitely takes a bit more time than the other method. It will give you a higher poly look. So basically all we're gonna do is go to edit mode by pressing tab and I'm going to click face select and I'm just going to grab that top face, scale it down, move it down. And now you just kind of, oh yeah, by the way, hit G to move and then just click to confirm. And now all I'm going to do is go up here to your view selector and just change that. So you're viewing it right here. So everything isn't, when you extrude this, it isn't going to be all weird. So we're going to hold control and then just right click somewhere. You can also just extrude normally if you want. And then I'm going to hit R to rotate, you know, all that stuff. And then just keep re repeating this until you have a nice, like, first part of your tree. And now you can go ahead and scale that down really far. If you want to make this come to a point, you can hit M and hit at center. And that will be a pointy point. But I just want mine to be really small. Not pointy, but depends on what you are making. If you're making trees that don't have leaves on them, then it might make sense for you to have a point there. So... Uh, to add more branches, what we're going to do is press Control R and click somewhere. And this will allow you to rotate that and then hold Control and we can extrude that out, scale it by hitting S, and we can make more branches. After you do this, however, it will drop you to Edge Select, just so you know, so you might want to change that back. So just keep doing that until you have the number of branches that you want. Of course, you can merge this at center or you can simply hit F to make a face because these, when you do it this way, these will not have faces. Make sure to vary where you put these and have them going off in different directions as well. Make sure to rotate them as well because uh, it can look a little bit weird and yeah. As you can see here, I didn't rotate that one, so it did look a little bit strange. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to fix it, so make sure you're rotating it as you make it. Oh yeah, also after doing this, you're going to want to uh, make sure to hit A, select everything, hit Alt-N, recalculate outside. 
This basically will make sure that your mesh looks right in studio. So basically all we got to do to make leaves is hit shift A and we're going to add an ICO spear. And then down here, subdivisions as before, we're just going to drag that down and make it one. And now I'm just going to hit S and scale that up. And depending on how you want this to look, you can have it shade smooth and then you can add a modifier and edge split. And we're just going to turn that up around there. And after you do that, all we got to do is move this to where we want it on our tree. And if you do notice that some of your branches are out of place when you do this, just go ahead, select the tree trunk, and then hit tab, and just kind of move them into place. And also, make sure to vary these. They don't all have to be perfectly shaped. You can scale these on one axis just to make them look a little bit different. Hit Shift D to duplicate, by the way. All right, so when you are ready to export, um, just select everything you want to export. If you have a bunch of stuff in your in your scene that you don't want to export with it, just select the things you want to export, and that will be good. So I'm just going to select that. I don't want the camera and the light, so I'm just going to select these. Hit File, Export, and FBX. So if you export these as, X, as FBX, Everything will be separate, so you can recolor them in Studio however you like. So uh, make sure to have selected objects on if you did that selection. Otherwise, if all you have is the tree in your scene, then you're good. So I'm just going to name this tree or whatever. And once you're in Studio, all you got to do is make sure that you have the Asset Manager uh, visible. So just go up to View and then make sure Asset Manager is enabled and then uh, just click on it. Um, so down here, we just got to hit this arrow icon, bulk import, um, and then just click on your tree file. So right here, this will do some fixes to your mesh, but, um, we don't need these. Uh, I'm going to do this. So hit apply all, and then it will apply it to all those. So now all you got to do is click on the top one, hold shift and select the bottom one, and then right click and hit insert with location. That'll insert them all. Now you'll notice that all these are separate. You can select whichever ones you want, change the color, like having a nice bright green. Also, uh, I don't really recommend using brick colors. If you want your builds to really look unique, an easy way to do that is by not using brick colors. So brick colors, everyone uses them, right? These are just the basic colors that everyone uses. But customizing your own with this, it takes you a few extra seconds, but you get way more options. You get any color in the world, and there's no downsides to using this other other than when you want to use it in a script. Like if you want to change the color in a script, you're going to have to copy and paste this, but not too difficult. Really worth it if you want to have a unique looking game. Anyways, make sure to subscribe to the channel. The next video, of course, will be on making low poly pine trees, and that should be up right after this. Make sure to comment down below what you want to see in another tutorial or video. Make sure to comment below what you want to see in my next video. And don't forget to check out that playlist in the description to see the rest of the tutorials in this series. It will also be up on screen right now. Anyways, I'm Smarty and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.